What's going on? How are you guys this week? Welcome back to another Q&A for the month of August. If you guys didn't get the chance to ask your question, definitely check out my channel page around the middle of next month or just leave it down below and I'll try to get to you. What is your opinion on detox? Clays, zeolite, herbs, etc. You talk about toxins a lot, but I don't think I've heard your views on how to get the toxins out yet. So when your body is toxic, the toxins are stored in your cells, which can take months to years to detox, depending on many factors. You know, taking certain things like activated charcoal or clay may help alleviate symptoms from the liver pushing toxins into the digestive tract for excretion, but aren't practical long-term. And herbs and certain things that people are taking for detox are actually harming their body because the liver needs to process them instead of detoxing yourself. So you really need to go on a high quality diet, drink high quality water, remove radiation from your environment for months to years to heal from a modern lifestyle. Who, in your opinion, should avoid carbs? What metric should people use to find out how well they are tolerating carbs? So I believe carbohydrates are necessary in the diet in order to be healthy. You always want to go by how you feel when you consume it. And if you have certain health conditions, or you're in a high radiation environment, you might not feel so good consuming carbohydrates, and then you have to take precautions, usually incorporating probiotics. What is the best way to reverse insulin resistance in a healthy way, i.e. not relying on the carnivore diet? Some studies apparently showed people who ate fruit improved metabolic health. So what are some misconceptions regarding this, and what would your protocol be if you were insulin resistant? So almost any disease is a result of toxins and radiation in the lifestyle. I would focus on EMF reduction with protective clothing, sleeping in a canopy. Uh, we are getting the clothing back on Wi-Fi shielding, but I do have canopies. And I can't emphasize this enough. It doesn't matter how good your diet is. It doesn't matter how much you're exercise. It doesn't matter what you're supplementing. Reducing radiation usually triumphs over all of those as a level of importance. You know, after you reduce that radiation, you could increase food quality by going organic, adding more animal foods, only drinking quality water. When that's done, you can address nutrient deficiencies, maybe take supplements here and there. And that answer I just gave applies to just about any health issue someone is experiencing. The basic first step is reduce environmental radiation, wear protective clothing, spend your workday in a bed canopy, sleep in a bed canopy, and then address the diet, what you're drinking, supplements. I wanted to ask what your thoughts are on enzymes in the form of pancreatin, as well as are the enzymes in bee pollen useful? So when I was sourcing products for my digestive enzymes on organ supplements, I couldn't get a straight answer on what was in pancreatin, but it's very cheap, so I'm assuming the quality of the enzymes in it aren't that great. So I opted for buying the isolated enzymes and I made the ratio that I wanted. Maybe there's a small amount of amylase in bee pollen, but it's insignificant. Either way, I haven't seen a digestive enzyme on the market or had one that makes me feel as good as the one I formulated. I have a friend whose child was diagnosed with phenylketonuria. So I'm not gonna read the rest of this. I do have to say that modern medicine seems to have made up a laundry list of mysterious diseases that have no cure other to spend your money going to doctors. If a child is following a healthy diet in a low radiation environment with no nutrient deficiencies, they will not have any problems. But that doesn't make doctors any money. What are your thoughts on AirPods? I wore mine for a week thinking it wouldn't have much of an effect, but then I developed somewhat of a painful pimple in my ear. Went away and came back when I continued to use them. Any idea what this could be? So AirPods are literally frying your brain. I should have made a video on them already, but people are in such high radiation environments that they don't notice the slight increase in radiation. You know, the average person is on their phone all day, glued to it, or it's in their pocket. If you're able to shield yourself completely at night and reduce EMF substantially throughout the day with canopies, with protective clothing, keeping your phone on airplane mode, you'll be able to notice when you're in that higher EMF environment, especially using AirPods. It's like sleeping out in the country in a tent versus sleeping in the middle of New York. You know, there's a reason they call it the city that never sleeps because everyone's getting baked like a fucking chicken. 
What advice would you give to someone who's reliant on their parents for buying groceries, but they aren't willing to buy grass-fed, organic, how to make better food choices in this circumstance? So I would try to get a job or any source of income. If that's not possible, then talk to your parents. If the average person wasn't so brainwashed, they would understand that the thousands of dollars spent on nourishing your child with proper food is not comparable to them being short and ugly. Like, if I could go back in time and give my parents $10,000 an hour, however much money they would have needed to feed me high-quality food as a child, I would have done it. But that's just not how it is. Uh, you, you have to do the best with the situation you're in. And if you're still relatively young, like 10, 11, 12, 13, then just try to eat as much animal protein as possible. In a country where meat is pretty expensive, even some vegetables, how do you really stay healthy? I often find myself getting extremely irritated or just moody I haven't eaten meat or fish in a while. Now, is that why after people go vegan for months or years, they're just completely unbearable because they need to eat something uh, that's not cardboard? Uh, so if you can't get a job, make more money, or raise your own animals, then, I mean, I'm thinking in my mind, I would buy a rifle, get you know a minimal amount of gear that I would need to survive in the forest or whatever, and just hunt deer, fish, and then maybe buy some sort of bulk grain or whatever other foods I needed to keep healthy. I mean, that's really how you would spend as little as possible living a healthy lifestyle. You know, harvest the expensive stuff yourself and, and purchase whatever you can. Why should we eat protein, fat, and carbohydrates in balanced amounts? Uh, so the correct ratio is 80% of your energy from carbohydrates and fat and about 20% protein. That's typically what indigenous people stuck by and then depending on your ancestry that would kind of dictate you know what types of protein you're eating what's the ratio of fats to carbohydrates but if you get brain fog when you're eating high quality organic carbohydrates that means you have a candida overgrowth and likely toxic liver the candida acts as a vessel for those toxins to leave the body through the digestive tract but it doesn't feel good because your body's releasing those toxins and some of them are being reabsorbed as the candida passes through. Is ghee healthier than regular butter for someone with a dairy intolerance? Uh, please, thank you, Frank. Uh, so for anyone unfamiliar, ghee is clarified butter where they remove uh, what little milk uh, proteins are left. And my suggestion is that if you have any problems with dairy, I would avoid both dairy and eggs for several months, maybe even longer. You know, there are plenty of good cooking alternatives as well as fat sources in the diet. Just because what they're feeding chicken and cattle is so unreliable now that you know, there's a lot of allergens and, and issues with uh, the end result, the end product, and the dairy or the eggs. What age do people stop developing facially or height-wise, or can it always be improved depending on how deficient you are in a nutrient? So height stops when your growth plates are completely fused typically 17, 18, 19 years old, the face can change throughout your entire life. And you ever notice how old people's faces tend to be like sunken in around the mouth? That's what happens when you lose your teeth and you're not chewing as much. It's a combination of nutrition and soft tissue movement. You know, some people are going to say, oh, it's, it's all about facial posture, but there's definitely a, a nutritional aspect there with a lack of animal protein in the diet mainly. My wife is having trouble producing breast milk for our newborn. She is on a lower carb, high omega-3 protein enriched diet for mostly grass-fed finished meat, some lamb as well, and a DHA supplement. Sounds like too much omega-3, and she's likely deficient in certain minerals as well as vitamin K2. I would supplement the carnivore deficient minerals, copper, selenium, molybdenum, manganese, definitely K2 in the form MK4, probably needs vitamin D3 as well, even certain B vitamins. And most importantly, I would add some organic carbohydrates, some macadamia nuts, even some omega-6 sources, just to give your wife the energy. You know, you're giving her the nutrients, the animal-based nutrients, but she doesn't have energy that her body can use that well. Is there a natural remedy for gallstones? So I have an in-depth video on the gallbladder that you should definitely check out. But gallstones are from underuse of the gallbladder due to a lack of cholesterol and saturated fat in the diet. It could also be due to toxins in your diet and lifestyle. Hypothetically, if you do follow a high quality organic diet that has plenty of animal products, 
they should remove themselves. Although I said in that video, I'm not sure if in a severe, severe circumstance, if the gallbladder can excrete all of those gallstones, but they should be broken down because the bile is acidic and it starts building up again. Do you eat fish or other seafood? Caviar on occasion, but I don't think fish is safe to eat, especially when you compare it to, you know, grass fed beef. Just too, too many concerns about what's in the ocean. Is homosexuality natural? Technically, no. The hormonal profile during developmental stages, mainly pregnancy, will determine the baby's attraction. High estrogen in our food and water supply lowers testosterone in males and raises testosterone in female babies. These hormones also change attraction in adult life, but you know, not as drastic as straight to gay. Uh, so you know, the baby's brain is developing in the womb and the hormones will act on that brain and say, hey, these are your hormones. You're supposed to be attracted to this because normally in the DNA, a man or a woman is supposed to have a certain attraction, but you know, the modern lifestyle factors alter that. And uh, I'm inclined to believe there's a lot more gay men than women because although estrogen in the water is bad for both men and women, it's much more detrimental to men. Why are people always believing doctors? Uh, the simple answer is brainwashing. And my grandparents, even great grandparents, never trusted doctors, but they really ingrained it in, in my parents' generation and my generation that doctors are actually good people. They're simply in positions of authority, molded to be experts at manipulating the average person. You know, most doctors are simply brainwashed themselves, making money for big pharma. And you shouldn't really trust anyone with an MD in their name. They might give you some truth, but then steer you in their interest. That's actually why I have more respect for plastic surgeons than most doctors, because at least they're doing something that makes the person happy as opposed to misleading them. Is smoking really as bad as everyone says? Even additive-free organic tobacco, how does nicotine affect the body? Uh, so I did cover this in my marijuana video. Most people are unable to remove negative lifestyle factors in order to offset the amount of oxidative stress from smoking. What made you want to help others about health and nutrition? Uh, so I was having really severe digestive issues that I didn't realize were from Accutane at the time, uh, which is a pharmaceutical drug that destroys your liver. Uh, it's supposed to treat acne, which it never really did. I still get acne, but that's besides the point. And after researching diet for a couple months, I, I found out about a meat only diet, piecing things together. And this was way before carnivore was a thing. And I felt a lot better. And, you know, once I was kind of fully carnivore keto for a couple of years, I decided to, you know, launch my YouTube channel to, to share the information that I read in several different books and experiments a lot with myself. Um, and that's kind of how it started. And then uh, I kind of just stuck with it for a little while. And, you know, now after I developed some health businesses around it, I'm kind of um, stuck in it, so to speak. But, you know, the main thing is realizing that this world isn't run by good people. And, you know, most people are just pretending to be like me in a sense that, you know, they're, they want to, oh, I'm a doctor, I'm going to help you. But all they really care about is making money for themselves. Uh, I don't really want to go too in depth on that and talk too much about that today. Maybe I can make a separate video on that. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video. As I mentioned earlier, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Uh, we mentioned the Wi-Fi shielding has the bed canopies. I should have the t-shirts and shorts back in stock before the end of this week. Many things on Oregon supplements that you guys can check out. Just go to frank Everything's on there. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.